Today we're unboxing the Unify Dream Machine, and I also realise I need to buy a new microphone, because whilst editing, I realised I had no audio for this entire intro section. Hurrah! So we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing, which looks a lot like the old Apple networking devices which Apple don't sell anymore. Here, take a look at this one. If only you could hear what I was saying right now. Look, even the ports on the back look the same. I'm sure this is really insightful. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more professional content on... Now this uh, dream machine actually has a few different components built into it. It is a wireless access point, which I imagine is that part on the top. It has a uh, gigabit network switch in the back, of course. It has the WAM port on the back, but it also has the cloud controller or the cloud key, which you used to have to buy separately. So it is really an all-in-one device for your home or, or small business, uh, small office network. There is one omission though, in that the Dream Machine does not have the Unify Protect component, which is the component you need to run a Unify CCTV system. Um, so you'll need still need the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus for that. Also here in the UK, we have a slightly different setup to the rest of the other world pretty much, uh, in terms of what, how to actually wire this up. Traditionally here, we have either an RJ11 connection, which is the likes of your BT, um, or Ethernet from you know, Virgin Media or what have you. Now, this only has a single Ethernet connection on the back, so if you are on FTTC, fibre to the cabinet, then you'll still need a modem to sit in front of this. If you're on FTTP, which is fibre to the premises, then you're generally fine, you'll just plug the uh, network cable straight into here. Likewise, if you're on Virgin Media, then you'll just need to put your existing Virgin Media box into modem mode, and then plug a wire from that into the WAN port on here. So we're gonna plug this in, boot this thing up, and um, see what happens. So I'm gonna plug this thing in here. Oh. We have a fan. Now one thing just to note that um, there is a fan whilst it's booting up, but um, reading up on this online, it is the pretty much once and only time you'll actually hear the fan. And whilst we're wasting, one thing I'm led to believe is that this controller can host all of the security features like the intrusion detection services while still managing full gigabit internet speeds, which uh, for us is rare to get full gig speeds in this country. Only really businesses typically get, get those speeds, but it's good to know it's capable of it. The issues you get with the other Unify ranges like a USG4s was once you put a gig connection through it uh, and switched on the security features, it sometimes struggled to actually reach those full speeds with all the extra layers of security on there. Whilst we're waiting for this to boot up, I'm gonna wire this into my laptop and then get things going. That means it's ready. And we're basically gonna run through the first time setup just to show you how to configure this and get things working. By default, when these boot up, they're on a 192.168.1.1 range. So I'm gonna go on to 1.1. Welcome to your dream machine. Dream machine setup, name your unified dream machine. We're gonna just leave it as dream machine, agree to the terms of service and click on next create your ui.com account. Now this is the uh, ubiquity online account that you need to own to uh, essentially register devices. For those of you that shoot videos, do you ever shoot an entire video and then you get to the very end of it and you realize that it wasn't recording audio for like half of the video? Damn it. So yeah, looks like we're gonna do this again, twice. Now I asked you to create a ui.com account we already have our, our own account, but generally this will allow you to log in online and get into your devices externally. So we're just gonna sign into my own account here now. Step three here is for auto-optimize, which will basically just use the, the best settings available that it can find for your wireless networks at home. It'll basically scan just to see what your neighbors are using, what you're already using around your network. And then last is just to send diagnostic information. There was a bit of a uh, an issue with uh, Unify and um, devices sending data to places they shouldn't be sending them to, certainly not without your permission. And uh, it's good to see that they've now given you an option to be able to choose that or not. Step four is your wireless network. So we're just gonna set up a wireless network here. Um, take a quick look into the advanced options just to see what we do get in here. And um, so we get the options to use separate five gig and 2.4 gig networks. So you can actually use this um, if you have some old devices that don't support five gig. Um, I've noticed in a few instances where some devices, and you might have some, some devices just won't connect to your home wireless or your office wireless. If you do get that, then try separating the two networks into a five gig and a two gig, just so you know when you are connecting a device, it's definitely connecting to the two gig network, for example. 
Uh, step five here is an update schedule. We're going to leave that at daily and 12 a.m. And that just means it's going to download the very latest firmware updates for your device uh, overnight and automatically install them. And then last step here is just to uh, review. You can see we're in firmware automatically. Uh, it knows the time zone and it's setting to uh, install the latest firmware automatically. So we're gonna kick off the, the process here. What this will do is this is going to actually run a speed test. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not um, because the way we've wired it in through our office network. The reason why you want to do a speed test to set things up properly on this box is that um, this will then set the parameters within the unified routing to know how fast your broadband connection is because what will happen is if you're trying to download a large file and it floods your network, it won't actually be able to handle all of the traffic going through it. So it's just gonna clog up your network. And it also gives you an option, that's quite good. It gives you an option to manually change the download and the upload speed. So if you're running the speed test in the middle of the day when other people are using it, then you can actually go ahead and override those values with um, what you know your speeds are normally. And it's gonna go off now. It's gonna set up the network by those things, configuring your devices and network settings. Now this might take a little while longer actually because it might do a firmware update, I believe. We're just gonna see how well this gets on. That's actually finished setting things up, that was relatively quickly. Now we have two options here. We can actually go to the unify.ui.com, which is the online version of your Unify settings. So you can actually get to your Unify network from anywhere or the unify.home, which is the local version. And we're gonna use that one because it's obviously gonna be a lot quicker. So it actually has two different options to go into, which is fairly standard for other Unify devices I've seen. You can get into the Unify network itself, which you can go ahead and configure all the networking side of things um, or the Dream Machine which is where you can get in and configure the actual Dream Machine box itself. Uh, interestingly here, okay, you can see a bit more information about the, the device you've got itself. So you can see we are um, ARM 64 bits, uh, four core processor. We've got 1.83 gig of RAM. We've got two separate uh, sets of storage. We've got 12 gig of storage and uh, 120 meg of backup storage, which I imagine is it's just more memory, active memory in terms of what's running on it. Performance is interesting. So this is something that actually came along with the uh, Unify Protect where you the CCTV systems because you can see the CPU load, the storage, the memory use. Um, so you can see uh, as a base build off of this before you really connect in any devices, we're running at 5% CPU loads, uh, temperature's good, memory's 30% and storage of course is, is not being used at all really. Under controllers, you can see we have um, just the network controller, which is the controller that's built into the thing. So that's absolutely fine. And then under settings, just uh, basic settings again, we can change the name, we can change the time zone, we can factory reset it, reboot it, and update the firmware um, and change the update frequency. Interestingly, it says we're up to date. So this either shipped with up to date firmware, which is good, or it's actually done, done a very, very quick firmware update as part of the setup. So we're going to go back now, we're going to go back to the actual Unify network screen just to go into the normal. If you are uni using Unify devices, you'll see this all the time and um, looks pretty much normal. So we're going to go in to have a look at devices. Yep, there we go. As you can see, um, so it does show us one device, but you can expand that device and you can now see the three individual devices behind that. We've got the security gateway, we've got the switch and we've got the wireless access point as well. So those do show up as three separate devices, although interestingly, they are nested under one main device the dream machines interestingly it does say there are firmware updates available but we only have the option to downgrade so not quite sure what that's about whilst we're looking around we're going to go into the settings and just see what uh, we have in here all of this looks pretty standard to me as far as unified networks go ah interesting thing here okay so this is uh this is not what i was led to believe so i believed you were able to get full gigabit speeds with all of the security features switched on but if you read the warning here if you enable threat management, it will affect the Unified Dream Machine maximum throughput to 850 megabits per second. So if you switch on the intrusion detection uh, software feature within this, that's actually gonna cap your speeds at 850 meg rather than full gigabit speed. So if you are lucky enough to have full gig speeds at either your home or your business broadband, then turning this feature on is gonna cap you at 850. The uh, wireless access point within here, so the wireless access point that's, uh, I imagine it's actually in the top of the device here. So that's a, wireless AC um, access points. It's pretty much the latest of what you can get. Of course, there is a newer uh, Wi-Fi 6 standard that's that's kind of coming out at the moment, so it's not quite up to date. It is very fast Wi-Fi that you can get in here in terms of the wireless standards and the security you get on there. The device itself, um, worth covering off, that costs about 325 pounds or so. So it's a fairly expensive device. At 325 pounds, it does sound quite expensive, to be honest, yes. Um, but don't forget for that, you're actually getting effectively three separate products. You're getting the wireless access points, the switch in the back there, and the gateway on there as well. So that's worth 
being aware of. Quality of service. Okay, so the Dream Machine has um, a couple of features here, one being quality of service and one being VLANing. So what this allows you to do if you are using um, VoIP phones, voice over IP uh, phones from home again or from the office, then you can use these two features to completely segregate the, the, the traffic from your phone system and separate it from the normal network. So if you're downloading a large file or you're streaming something online, it's not gonna interfere with what's happening on the phone call. I don't know if you've ever been on a phone call and you go and download a large file and the, the call quality just goes through the floor, completely through the floor. That is because you have no segregation set up on your network. You've got nothing here to separate the voice traffic from the data. And that's really important. If you ever have that in the office, then you need to talk to your IT guys. But the good thing is Dream Machine supports it. So if you are a business user, but you work from home often, this is actually a very good device to look at to getting to um, look after your things. It also does have VPN built in within it. So you can actually create a VPN connection either to your office or if you want to VPN into it, so you can access your Unify home network from anywhere else in the world. So that's, that's really good to know as well, actually. Ultimately, what this comes down to with all the tech specs and everything is, why would you need this? Now, if you are a business user, then yes, this would make a great um, router for your home office. Now, if I was to really nitpick anything specifically, then I would probably pick the firmware updates for this. In history of Unify and Ubiquity, the firmware updates haven't always been that reliable. I haven't had a dodgy firmware update for quite a while, so maybe they have actually put this through the ringer and fixed the firmware update issues. But previously, I have had many, many issues where a firmware update comes out, you jump on it straight away, install the latest updates, and then your box does not work anymore. And you have to downgrade the firmware to a previous version. Give them a few days to bed in, let everyone else have those problems first. What you might find is that update disappears the next day because they've just realized it crashes everyone's computers. But other than that, I really don't have any other problems with this device. It's a fantastic device. The price point is actually okay when you when you think you're getting three devices um, in one here. And it's, it's a real good form fact, you know, the fact it's all condensed down into this small device. And I'm gonna pretty much leave it right there, really. This has been quite an interesting product to review. Apologies, I haven't gone too much into depth. I mean, effectively, these are just three existing Unify products all combined down into one product. Interesting name, the Dream Machine, um, particularly with the Apple product series where they are time machines where you can actually run backups to the time machine. This does not do any backups. And so my recommendations are if you are looking for a single device that you can run your home network off of, whether you're looking to replace your Virgin Media Super Hub or your BT Super Broadband High Thing Box, with something that's actually reliable, secure, the wireless is fantastic on it, then definitely have a look at the Ubiquiti Unify Dream Machine. This is not sponsored. I actually went and bought this. Actually, we accidentally bought this because uh, it was just added to the basket when we were buying something else and it appeared and um, we decided to keep it because we like the look of it. So um, yeah, that's all for this week. Thanks again for watching. Of course, like the video if you did, subscribe if you're not already, hit the bell icon to be notified of our future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.